The Canadian government supports the U.S. effort to restrict the use of powerful commercial spyware used to spy on activists, journalists and dissidents. Uh, the two governments maintain their own sophisticated espionage programs, the Biden administration has recently signaled growing concern about specialized market surveillance tools that can steal data from cell phones, such as text messages and other sensitive information. This concern was framed in Biden's executive order, issued Monday, which restricts use of commercial spyware that poses significant counterintelligence or security risks to the United States or that software could be used inappropriately by foreign governments. Now, nine more countries are joining the Biden administration's support, including Canada and Five Eyes Intelligence Allies Australia, New Zealand and the United Kingdom. A joint statement released on Thursday acknowledges the abuse of powerful invasive spyware by authoritarian regimes and democracies alike, commits countries to create solid railings to prevent tools from being misused by their own governments. The misuse of these tools poses significant increasing risks to our national security, including the safety and security of our government personnel, information information systems, the document said. In statement, the countries acknowledged that strict internal and international controls and use of such technologies are needed. According to director Ron Diebert, the move sends a strong signal to spyware vendors and their investors that business as usual is over and the very lucrative U.S. federal government market is out of bounds for companies involved in human rights abuses. Citizen Lab, the joint statement shows that United States is actively encouraging other governments to do the same, Debat, whose organization has documented growth of mercenary spyware for years, told Global News on Wednesday evening. Is there more work to be done? Definitely. A result, however, Dial was turned few notches giant machine moved in way that made life difficult for companies, investors, and government customers that made profits losses worldwide. 537 having cybersecurity concerns while browsing? We'll see what steps the Canadian government actually takes to limit the use of commercial spyware, if any, by its department and agencies. The Prime Minister's office accepted Global News' request for comment Wednesday evening, but has not responded as of the line. It is also largely unclear what surveillance tools have been continued to be used by federal law enforcement and intelligence agencies such as RCMP, the Canadian Security Intelligence Service, Communications Security Establishment. For example, RCMP denied using controversial facial recognition software Clearview AI before Toronto Star admitted to using tool after receiving company's Canadian client list. Last year, RCMP Deputy Commissioner Mark Flynn told a House of Commons committee that Mounties had been using cell phone spyware since at least 2002, there was little public or political awareness that national power was using such invasive tools. According a joint statement from the White House, Canada will install hard guards to prevent spyware from being misused by government departments and agencies, prevent export of the software people who will use it for a malicious cyber activity, and increase information sharing. We's allies on the proliferation of spyware tools. Our efforts will allow us, for the first time, to work collectively as we develop implement policies to deter commercial spyware misuse promote, consistent with universal human rights, the rule of law, respect for civil civil rights. Freedom Despite spearheading initiative, the US government doesn't seem to be open to discussing how often its departments and institutions use technology. A senior U.S. administration official said in a background briefing with reporters on Monday that they were unable to go into additional details about how often commercial spyware is used by the U.S. government and federal law enforcement. He said they only publicly announced they were maintaining a ban last year send a message to companies trying a login with federal agencies. This is partly because we're avoiding a challenge by anticipating that there are standards across the U.S. government, and as a result, by allowing us to set an example with other partners around the world. Even with uncertainty about exactly what Canada is committed to doing, Diebert called Ottawa's signing of the initiative positive. History shows that there are few Canadian firms that provide surveillance services to autocrats and despots without any proper oversight or accountability, Diebert said. Aside from the recent and very vague RCMP statements regarding spyware, these indicate a policy and regulatory gap in Canada. Hopefully, 
signing this commitment will trigger more important initiatives following U.S. leadership.